right, Captain America, Albania, whatever. Let's do the blue floor or green floor ninja blue. We start with the throw and catch. So they'll have to collect their ball from their hat if they have one, or you can provide them one. Throw, catch. Any miss is some kind of punishment. Maybe you make them do some burpees or inchworms or something they hate. Or maybe you make them practice till they catch at least three in a row. No death. Okay, moving on to handstand hold. So they're gonna hold a handstand and not knock over the pad. Hold the handstand, try to get at least two seconds. If they come down early, make them do a burpee or two. So hold a two second handstand. If they don't knock it over, great, move along. Okay, they're gonna do the ring traverse, similar to the other guys, other than they're going a little further. So they're gonna go clear across to the end of the castle. So Ninja Green's going through the window, Ninja Blue's getting to the bar, coming around the outside. Then they'll be jumping to the blue block or coming down on the pad and to the blue, dropping to a Ninja Roll. Okay, for the blue floor, we're gonna start with Lazy Vaults, doing both sides. So you can have them go across, come back, Make sure they really are getting the skill down on both sides. After they vault, sometimes lazy vaulting, they're gonna come up to the bar. It's gonna work on three kinds of vaults on the bar. Safety, the lazy vault on a bar, and then a reverse vault over the bar. Okay, climb up the block. They're gonna be walking up this balance beam don't touch the wall. If they touch the wall, massive, massive penalties beyond comprehension. Then they're descending safely, maybe even tacking off these things. I don't know. Whatever you think is a safe way to get creative. Get down, get creative. Maybe a front flip. No death though. And finally, plank taps. Have them plankety, tappity, all together a tea. Maybe 300 or so, whatever you think is reasonable. All right, red floor. We're doing a handstand with a roll escape. So up into a handstand and then roll into the escape. If they need to, have them handstand up against the wall, walk up it, and then roll out from the wall. So they can walk their feet up and then work on dive rolling out of it if they're still working on getting a decent handstand. They'll be moving on to the rope climb. Trying to work on a double rope climb for these guys. If they can't climb a rope yet, have them work on the single climb. But if they got the skills, double rope them. Make sure they come down safely. Less rope burn is better rope burn. Then going through the spider's web. Touching nothing, including the bars. Anyone touches the bars, we cut off fingers in this joint. So it is pretty tight. Your bigger guys are going to have a, quite a challenge to get through without touching anything. Maybe impossible for guys like Cole unless they take their time. So slight, slight, sliced up all over the place. slight bumps are okay. Just remind them that every one of these is actual laser beams and laser beams are painful. Okay. They're going to escape out this way or you can move the purple pad That's out of the way. <laughs> you can move the, the purple pad out of the way so they can get out and oh, finally yeah. doing some slalom hops. So. Maybe even have them hop blue, then orange. See if they can go blue to orange with only one hop in the middle. There we go. So some pretty serious hoppage, which is a real word. What a wicked thing to do to make me dream of you. What a wicked thing to say. Okay, 
Okay, purple floor, we're gonna start with the underbar. You can use this little pad or something else, whatever you want. Punch jump. Make sure they're getting a really good high jump. On to the crabby patties. We want serious crabbage. So high reaching, legs fully extended, arms fully extended. Speed, so much speed that it's blurry on the camera when we record it. That means you have to go faster, Cole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. <I'm> <laughs> okay. okay, heading up finally is a cartwheel on the line. So both hands, both feet, landing on the line. If they don't do it, you make them repeat it over and over until they get it right. Dang it. So it could be 3,000 cartwheels in a row for some of these children. That doesn't help the line. They this line is perfectly straight unless you've been tired. Dick Cheney's got a gun Dick Cheney's got a gun